Let's explore how ChatGPT can help us create learning outcomes for our courses. So I'm going to start with a prompt. Please provide a learning outcome for a high school course. I'm going to keep that typo because it doesn't really matter. And I'll hit enter. Now I didn't specify, is this course a, what year is it? What topic are we studying? And so ChatGPT has to make a lot of assumptions. ChatGPT is like a newborn baby without context of the world. It has to try and figure things out. And the more specific the prompts that we provide, then the more context it has. And so here we have students will be able to analyze and interpret literary text using literary terms and techniques. So it's making an assumption that this is maybe an English class or some kind of class where we have to analyze literature. So let's help ChatGPT and create a more specific prompt. So let's say, please provide a learning outcome for a high school level music appreciation course where students need to discern key elements of music from various timelines while analyzing the social and political constraints of the eras. And basically that was a restructure of my prompts because that was basically a decent learning outcome as it was. So let's try one more. Please provide a learning outcome for an AP level high school physics course that is preparing students, high school students to enter college. And here we have, a, I think, a better learning outcome. And if I don't quite like the wording of that outcome, I can say, please rephrase. And that gives me, you know, essentially what a rephrasing is, is the same outcome in different words. Another follow-up prompt is I can ask, is there anything else to add? And then it has some suggestions there. You know, it depends. Maybe you want to focus on analysis of data and using scientific equipment and techniques, or focus on the experimental aspects of physics. So this at least gives me a basis of some ideas that I could use to formulate these learning outcomes.